Okay, today we're going to uh, take a look at uh, some torque specifications for that timing chain on this hard body. We're also going to be using this uh, torque wrench that this company uh, reached out to me and uh, sent me. It's called, uh, I guess, Sewer Cup, and I'll leave a link down below where you can uh, take a look at it. So let's take a look. So as you know, I've been working on this uh, Nissan hard body pickup, redid the head. Got all my timing chain uh, apparatuses in there, but we're going to talk about some torque specification, specifically for the tensioner here and the um, these hex key bolt hex key bolts that hold on these guides. So let's see what uh, Mr. Chilton has to say. Books are kind of hard to come by. I got this off of Amazon. This is a used book, but it's the Nissan um, Chilton Manual for Pickup and Pathfinders, eighty nine through ninety five number. 52502, this book um, does cover the... In metric, uh, these should be... The guide bolt is uh, 6 to 9 newton meters, and the tensioner bolts are also 6 to 9 newton meters. So my little wrench I've got here, a nice uh, Japanese-branded uh, uh, small torque wrench. It uh, The lowest it goes is to 10 newton meters. It's hard to see there. But we are going to go ahead and tighten this one up to 10 newton meters, this one up to 10 newton meters, and this one up to 10 newton meters. Then we're going to tighten this one up to 10 newton meters and this to 10 newton meters. These are, uh, that's the tensioner and that has the, um, the 10 millimeter it, bolt. Uh, it is done on both of those. And it says about, as you saw, eight pounds on these guide bolts here. So there we go. Shout out to the people at Sewer Cup for sending me this torque wrench. It's pretty nice. Uh, there's a look at it there, half inch torque wrench, 10 uh, foot pounds to 170 foot pounds. This is exactly what we need. Okay, so uh, here's the uh, wrench itself. Uh, it has your reverse backwards and forward. It is quick release. Uh, I can tell you one thing I do like about it is the collar on here. When you want to adjust it, you just pull the collar down and you can adjust it and just pop the collar back up. You don't have to tighten anything on the bottom like you do on those cheaper uh, torque wrenches. So again, this uh, torque wrench uh, goes from 10 to 170 foot pounds. So thank the uh, folks at this sewer cup uh, for sending me this inspection certificate here so let's get this thing and put it to its first use well, that camshaft pulley said that sprocket bolt is 87 through um, 116 foot pounds so let's see what we can set it okay, on okay we set this at 100 uh, foot pounds that's right in the middle of the torque specifications and uh we'll see how she to does tighten this i just used a block of wood to hold this steel to get it to 100 foot pounds the next thing we're going to do is torque this cylinder head down so this thing's got 10 bolts as you can see i've already got them down in here and um they uh they actually have a bolt and a washer and what the chilton manual is telling us is that there's a specific sequence based on uh page 3-19 right here this is the front of the engine you can tell because of the timing chain and you've got uh you know the the sequence one two uh three four so it kind of goes opposite and um, so you have to tighten them all, loosen them, and tighten again. Let's see where it says the that. The manual also uh, suggests using new head bolts, not the old head bolts. These are some Felpro head bolts I got from Rock Auto. There's the stock number there. All right, we are concerned about the K24E engine. That's what we have. Uh, we see the uh, sequence here. Let's see what it says. Taking the cylinder head off, you, it needs to happen in a few steps. You don't want to warp the head. I don't, I didn't see that. I went ahead and took it off, not in these steps. I brought it to a machine shop so it didn't warp my head because uh, they checked it and they also replaned it. And here's your steps right here. Torque all bolts to 22 foot pounds. So we're gonna do that first. All bolts to 22 foot pounds. And we're gonna do them in this sequence right here. So this is what these bolts look like. It is just a, uh, got a 14 millimeter head and a washer, and there's 10 of them that go down in the head. Okay, so we're gonna go with bolt number one, and we're gonna to torque it to 22 foot-pounds. There we go, and then we're gonna to go to two, which is right across from it, and we're gonna to go to 22 foot-pounds, and so, much, so forth and so on. Okay, multiple steps. So now that I've got them all to 22 foot-pounds, it says I should tighten them all in the same sequence to 58 foot-pounds, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna adjust our our torque wrench. We're going to start with one again and go to 58. Okay. 
and we're going to continue in the proper order. Okay, I've got them all tightened down to 58 foot pounds. Now it says that I should loosen them all up, so we'll do that. Loosen them. I was going to see now that they're all loose, we got to go back to 22 foot pounds and do it all over again in the same order the manual says. Okay, for the second time, I've got them tightened to 22 foot pounds. And for the final torquing sequence, it says go to from 58 to 61. So I'm going to go to 60. Okay, that is a properly torqued head according to the Chilton manual. And just so you'll know, I did verify, <laughs> I tested the, uh, the, the rating from this to one of my Harbor Freight ones that I always use, and they're pretty much identical. They both click around the same time, so pretty confident they're close enough. So now for that me. I've got the cylinder head uh, all torqued down, I've got the sprocket gear torqued down, I've got the guides torqued down then we should be ready to put on the All right, valve that's covers. it for the video today. Again, thanks, uh, shout out to the Sewer Cup uh, company for sending me this torque wrench. Again, I'll leave a link down below. So that is how I tighten, how I the... torque the head down, and of course some of the uh, timing chain and timing chain guides. So hopefully you found this very helpful. Y'all have a great weekend.